Hey, welcome to another pack opening of Grandma's Church. We're going to dive right into it. First up, we got Bulletin Board. So this is one of three cards that you can use to communicate with your congregants. You've got Weekly Bulletin, you've got Bulletin Board, and you got Morning Announcement. Bulletin Board is a good card. You're going to want to put it in your deck, but I do want to warn you that it is incredibly ineffective. No matter how well you post things on the Bulletin Board, in the Weekly Bulletin, during announcements, you are just going to have a large portion of your congregation having no idea what's going on. They're going to go to elders, pastors, asking, what time is the event? Are there any ministries I can be involved with? How much does something cost? Even though you're going to put a lot of work into making sure everything is clearly posted, they're just not going to know what's happening, and they're going to get frustrated that they don't know what's happening, and you're going to be frustrated because they should know what's happening. Okay, next we have... Wednesday prayer night. This pairs really well with a teaching elder. Okay, single black member. Now, this is a regional card, and in the Midwest, this is a little bit harder to come by. So you're gonna find a lot of decks with one to one. You're gonna find a lot of decks with one of these cards. They want more, and there's a chance that they'll pull more. They're just harder to get in the Midwest as you move farther south, you're going to see a lot more of these in the deck. Uh, and it, I will say, though, if you've never pulled one of these cards and you finally get one in your deck, it's a, it's a really exciting time. People uh, find it to be the mark of finally making it for some churches. Okay, Clock in Back of Sanctuary. This is one of those cards that you need if you... Feel it's important to let the pastor know that time's a ticking and you've got to get home for lunch and the football game. Quarterly communion. I'm a weekly communion type of guy. I think that quarterly is too long to go without the Lord's Supper. I think it needs to be more often than that. Uh, at least monthly, but I prefer weekly. Okay, before we move into the second half of this pack, I just want to give a quick word from our sponsor, the most ambitious mobile RPG on the market today. You know it, Rage Stage Calvinist. Play as any number of bearded characters and equip them with either an ESV or a slightly different looking ESV in this fiery game where you see how many fellow Christians you can call heretic before you realize that you're being kind of a douche. Uh, available in select reformed churches near you. Rage Stage Calvinists. Okay, and we're back to the cards. Okay, Joel Osteen quote. The community is really divided on a Joel Osteen quote, so this is going to pair with a sermon. Half the community really likes Joel Osteen, the other half not so much. So if you're part of the community that doesn't care for Joel Osteen, you can pair this with an angry sermon, and it can be very effective. And if you're part of the community who really like Joel Osteen and you're trying to build your deck around that type of congregation, I would suggest loading that deck with spiritual discernment and discipleship cards instead. Okay, topical sermon. You're going to want a few of these in your deck. Uh, I'm an expository sermon type of guy, but you do need the occasional topical sermon. I don't think you want to completely fill your deck up with this by any means, but you'll want a couple of these. Kid Carrying Eight Chairs. This is a great card. It pairs well with any event card, but what makes it really great is that if you pair this with a second Kid Carrying Eight Chairs, then the amount of chairs that they start carrying goes up 10, 12, if you've, depending on how big the kids are, 14. And that, it's just a fun card to play if you can get that pairing. Okay, gossiping. So this is a sin card, and you would think, surely no one's going to deliberately put this in their deck. But people love this card. It's very popular, and they think that if they pair it with prayer request card, that they somehow null the sin. And that's not the case. 
I will admit that I had this in my deck for a while. It's just not good. You don't want it in your deck. Pitch it. Okay. And for the final poll, I'd love an expository preaching card. I I could go for a Vody Bakum quote as well. Um, let's see what we get. Uncomfortable pews. So uncomfortable pews, you can only get rid of it if you attach a budget card onto it, which is why it's so difficult to get rid of, because are you really going to put a budget card on uncomfortable pews? Like, if you have this card, there's probably other things that are going to require a budget from you. So it's one of those things that once it's in your deck, you're probably not getting rid of it until you get a new building. That's just how it is. Okay, that's it for today. Join me next time as we open more packs from Grandma's Church.